As a software developer, one of the most asked questions is, how long does it take to build an app? I would say, it depends on the complexity of the app. They will ask, can you build it in a week? Well, what are the requirements? Can you build it in a day? What about right now? Give me an app right now. Give me an app. Now. So this week, I'm going to challenge myself to build an app in a week. First, we need an idea. Like some entrepreneur once said, the best idea comes from your own problems. Here's the story of my problem. When I work out, I keep notes of what I did in the native app of iPhone called Notes. And the next time before I work out, I copy over the previous workout and make edits. Then one day, I log into the wrong Apple ID. Then all my notes are gone. So I look around the app store for some workout tracking apps. Most of them need me to log in and all of the workout are predefined. So let's build an app that doesn't require login and save everything on your phone without ever selling personal data. Alright, let's do a wireframe. Um, maybe we don't need a wireframe. Select the tool. I usually develop apps with React Native, but to challenge myself more, I went with Flutter. So if you don't know what is React Native or Flutter, there are just tools that let you build both iOS and Android apps with one code base. And Flutter is becoming the cool cousin of the party. Day 1. Set up the main screens. Because Flutter has a lot of UI widgets built in, it is very easy to find examples to copy-paste. For the first page's calendar, I found a package on pub.dev that already looks nice. Pub.dev is like npm for a flutter developer if you come from a javascript world day two state management should i use block pattern should i use provider should i use redux should i use callback i choose provider because it seems more simple day three pass data i get caught up on how the list should look then i fall into the hole of how does children widget trigger a parent widget function finally i can pass data from home page to the secondary page day four save data on device i found out that you can save sqlite file on the device which means you can have structured data loading straight from the user's device which means user's data will never leave their phone which means i cannot sell user's data to advertiser even if i wanted to Day 5. Connect database to provider. So I spend more time just to figure out how will the data flow in the app. Then I connected the workout data to show on the home page when user tap on the date. Day 6. Redo add routine. I realized I can just add exercise routine on the home page. So I decided to kill the add routine page. So I add more inputs on the home page. Day 7 more buttons and inputs. I finish up add routine inputs on the home page and I let user edit the exercise when they tap on the card. I didn't like the idea of adding multiple floating buttons so I found a package called speed dial. Now users can copy and paste their routine from one day to another. Day 8 app icon. I know I said it was going to be one week but this is real life not everything will go according to plan. We still need an app icon to submit to app store. So I went on Fiverr to find a designer to design my app icon. In my experience, Fiverr can produce 50-50 results, meaning for 50% of the time you will get what you expected. Day 9. Submit to App Store. Luckily, the designer was very professional. I got the app icon. I used a website called appicon.co to generate all the necessary app icon size for both iOS and Android. Now time to write an essay to submit the app. Conclusion. To my surprise, Apple's App Store approved my app before Google Play Store. Hopefully, this gave you a perspective of how an app is developed. But remember, I skipped many steps for a real development cycle like wireframe, design, feature iteration, quality assurance, testing. Every day I spend 1-2 to two hours on the app. If I spend full time on the app, the app can probably launch faster. Thank you for watching to the end. Let me know if you have any question in the comment section. If not, have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next one.